Hey, first grade friends, you have been working so hard all week to teach us about new facts you've learned about the country to our North Canada. And I chose to teach about Canada's landforms. I learned that they have both mountains and plains, and I wanted to teach my readers about that. So I started off with my teaching picture that is not only labeled, but I actually gave it a heading. So that way my reader would know exactly what these pictures were. They're showing me Canada's landforms, not the United States landforms, not France's landforms, not Brazil's landforms, but Canada's landforms. Then we went into our topic sentence, that first sentence to tell our reader what we're going to teach them about. I will teach you all about Canada's landforms. Then we actually gave them some facts. We taught them something. One fact is that Canada has mountains and plains. Mountains, plains. Another fact is that Canada has thousands of lakes. Friends, I taught them my two facts. Now I'm done. Now I can wrap it up. Here's my closing sentence. Now you know all about Canada's landforms. Here I go. Now you know all about Canada's landforms. Period at the end. And now all I have to do is go back and fill it in. Now, hmm, I know it's N-O-W, but am I gonna use a lowercase n or an uppercase n? Hmm, ooh, it's gotta be uppercase because this is the first letter in my sentence. Now, you, Y-O-U spells you, know, K-N-O-W, comes from the word knowledge, to know things. Now you know all about, all, A-L-L -L spells all, about, A-B-O-U-T, about. Now you know all about Canada's, I could just go back to the text if I need to, landforms, that compound word, land forms landforms two smaller words stuck together to make a bigger word land l and why well, spell and a n d land forms <sighs> or or oh o r like horse form form forms now you know all about canada's land forms suffix s at the end that wasn't so bad, was it, friends? Now you can go back and reread your entire beautiful paragraph and admire your work. I will teach you all about Canada's landforms. One fact is that Canada has mountains and plains. Another fact is that Canada has thousands of lakes. Now you know all about Canada's landforms. And now that we're done, friends, we're going to be ready to go back and use our writing checklist tomorrow to help us edit and fix up our work. So if you finish, you can start playing around with your writing checklist to make sure you have included everything so it is ready to read. But right now, take a second to go ahead and start writing your closing sentence.